Lot to dig into in weather. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Hubdy. This is our 805 webcam view out along the north coast. Cayucas here. Now, what's interesting is skies starting to clear a little behind the main band of rain that has been pushing down the coastline. We started with a cold front moving through the area this morning with generally light showers. Now, the activity we've seen here in the afternoon and early evening has been a little more robust than the early rainfall we saw. So San Luis Obispo still mostly cloudy, 57 northwest winds, 13 miles per hour. In Avila Beach, it's 54. It's saturated. We've got cloudy skies there and some pockets of showers on and off. Santa Barbara, look at that. We've got some clouds there, some low clouds, upper level clouds as well. Even some pockets of clearing. We're still waiting to see decent rain or for many people, any rain on the south coast. And again, we showed you Cayucas and you can see how it's sitting in this gap behind this secondary line of rain, which has now moved east of Paso Robles down the 46 towards Shandon. Now, if you just look at the interior valleys here, there's quite a bit of rain out here, but again, not a lot of folks living in this area. San Luis Obispo down into the five cities. There's this one little pocket of very light showers in here. Santa Maria, not much going on. Yeah, a few showers up in the hills. We showed you those clouds in Santa Barbara in the hills. Some of that's actually getting picked up on radar, but again, it's not providing us actual rainfall. Now, some of these numbers are dated by about 45 minutes. I have to update them again, but San Simeon, Cambria, and even the Rocky Butte area, somewhere around three tenths of an inch to a little more than a half up there, especially at higher elevations. But most of the rest of the area, just enough to measure to perhaps about a tenth of an inch. Now, again, it is still actively raining out there, so a lot of these numbers are just slightly dated here. We never anticipated a big storm. Our range for this forecast has been a tenth of an inch to a half inch for most, with some on the lower end of the scale or under the scale and some above the half inch scale. But I think we're doing pretty well in terms of the forecast and the timing and the intensity. And we're not done yet. The system moving through now, this is a look at the last few hours. Now that we're losing daytime heating, we have to count on the upper atmosphere to destabilize to provide thunderstorms. So I think more showers than anything else tonight. Central Valley saw some thunderstorms, upper elevation snows in the Sierra, and we're not alone. It's a multi-state storm here. You can see it's uh, rain all the way from western North Dakota to Washington, down through Idaho, northern California, and Oregon. Jet stream right in here, big, large trough. All of this is going to slide through the area as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow. Some advisories. Surf advisory going into place at 11 o'clock tonight, 10 to 14 footers for the central coast. For the south coast, 4 to 7 footers and advisory going into place tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And again, there you can see the system kind of just moving through the area. After it departs, temperatures start popping for the weekend. How much new rainfall here? Well, you can see one more push between now and midnight. And then after that, yes, yeah, scattered activity throughout the day on Friday, but diminishing with time as we get into the afternoon and evening. It'll definitely be on and off. We'll see a little bit of sun here and there. And we're going to pick up more rain than we've already seen here, probably helping us get back into that range, get more folks up into the tenth of an inch to half inch range. Here's the extended forecast. I didn't do the city by city forecast tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. But look where we go. We go into temperatures in the mid 80s in the interior valleys on Sunday and Monday. Santa Maria warms to about 70 on Saturday, then near 80 by Monday. Santa Barbara, mid 70s Saturday, low 80s on Sunday. Sunday and warmer than that on Monday. Then we start to give back a little heat as we move through and toward the midweek portion of next week.